So last night when I went grocery shopping, I went to Walmart and I really don't ever go to Walmart unless I'm looking for something like specific. And I saw on TikTok these planters and I had to go to Walmart and get them. They're by the Better Homes and Garden brand and they're just so freaking cute. These are only like seven or eight dollars I think and it's pretty deep. I don't know what I'm going to put in these yet but I got two black ones and then it also comes in this like off-white color. I might go back and get another one of these but I didn't want to be greedy um, so I just got one but I think I might go back and get another one of these. This morning the plan is to um, put these clippings into my little propagation stands. I did buy another one last night. This one is from Target. How freaking cute is this? It's like a little rainbow, I don't know. And then like the little um, the little container is right here. Now I have these two as well. I got these from Target Dollar Spot like a couple weeks ago. These are only three dollars. I got two of those and they had different shapes too. This was 15. I know, like, is this really worth $15? I don't know, but it was only one there. I only saw one, so I was like, let me go ahead and get it. But I clipped some of my pothos, and I want to propagate these. So I have this many clippings. Um, we're going to do this, like, neon one. And then I have just, like, my regular green one. I love my plants so much. This morning, I brought all of my plants into the kitchen, gave them a bath um, in the sink. And when I say bath, like I just put them in the sink and give them a ton of water and like just get a good draining, draining of all of them. So let's get these together. I don't know how many I'm gonna be able to fit in each one. <laughs> Propagating your plants is the easiest way to get more plants without having to spend more money. Okay. And I've propagated pothos before. These are probably the easiest ones to propagate, you know why. I'm trying to think. What do I want to put in? This one is really small, so you can only fit so many in there. But I'm just making sure they're in the water. Okay. How adorable. Now these are a little bit wider. So I can probably fit a couple in each of these. propagation stand camera shaking because I walk so hard and this is from Target too and I have these have already started to root so I need to take this out and plant them but I'm gonna put I have one empty one so This one is actually doing really good. This one's the heart-shaped philodendron, and it's doing so good. I'll put that one in here. I still have one more clipping. 
that I could put in. This one, the roots are growing. I need to repot these into some dirt um, soon. Definitely, definitely need to get these in some soil. And I have this. What can I put you in? I hate to waste a clipping. I already cut it. <laughs> um, oh, I have this. I have all kinds of little like propagation things. You can really propagate anything. You can just put it in a cup of water as long as it's in some water and not just air. I'm gonna use this. propagation stand or system I will buy it there was one that I saw at um, Target last night and it was really cute I might go back and get it let me see I think I took a picture of it okay this is it gonna focus this is the one I saw last night at Target how freaking cute is that I think I'm gonna go back and get it um but I think it was I think it was the last one it's this is not the right price the t the the price says wall planter, but this says propagation vessel, so I don't know. But I love my plants. Everybody looks cute. Now I'm going to go put them away. So let's go do that. So I usually like display my plants in this room and in my front room. This window is north facing, so but I still get pretty good light in here, so that's why I keep plants in here. And then my window in the front is south facing. Day. If you hear that noise in the background, that's my loud ass refrigerator. But I'm about to set up my little indoor in garden, which is where I grow my microgreens. And I haven't grown any in a while, and I really have been missing having those in my meals. So we're gonna set it up, and I figured I would just show you how to do it. So this is the in garden, um, it is a self watering device. And it comes like this, the water goes down here, and then these trays sit in here like this, and then you put the pads with the seats on it in there. Um, this you can get on Amazon, I have it linked in my storefront. Um, so let's set up what we're gonna make. So this is how the seed pads look. Um, the seeds are like in this little protective, I don't even know what this is, but it's recyclable. So this one is broccoli. This one is red cabbage, and then this one is mustard. So you put them in here like that, and they just sit in there, and then you pour water on top, I'll show you. And then they will start to grow within like seven to 10 days. Like you'll have full sprout. This is nice because you can write down what is in each because once they start sprouting, you're not gonna be able to see what it says on there. So I'm gonna write down which ones I'm growing and this is the little like pamphlet this is a little pamphlet you get with it and it shows you what the different um, options are so I thought that was really cute I have the essentials eco pack and within it comes radish mustard broccoli or red cabbage 
And then I've tried this one before, the Superfood Selection. Um, I like these as well. I think those are the only two. Yeah, they, they just start growing and they look like that and you can put it on salads, sandwiches, whatever. So I'm just gonna fill the bottom of it first with water, about halfway. And the way that it's self-watering is underneath here, it has these little strings. So these strings sit in the, the bottom of the water like that and it moistens this part which this sits on top of and that's how it self waters. And then I'm just gonna, you wanna pour the water on top of each one to coat it. And that's it. So once the water starts to get low, of course you'll want to like refill it. Um, but it's nice because you don't have to remember to water it or like fill the water up every single day. I like that. The light that it comes with, it is on a timer so you can program the light here. Uh, so I have mine turn on, let's see I have it turn on at 6.30 and then it'll go off in 12 hours at 6.30 a.m. and then um, yeah, it just it's automatic if I have a timer. So I might try to switch it and have it come on a little bit later once summer gets closer because during the day, obviously, it's getting sunlight. But yeah, it's on for 12 hours. It grows the microgreens for you, and it's really cool. So it's Sunday. It's like I think it's a week later from the last time. Yeah, it's definitely a week later. But it's Sunday, and I just got back from Walmart. I don't go to Walmart very often just because I don't really like the ambiance of Walmart. I just don't. Like, it's just... It's not... I, I prefer Target, but there were some things that I just ran to grab at Walmart because I was there. Well, I was close. And, well, one thing I do like about Walmart is they have good, like, garden stuff. Like, very impressed by their garden stuff. So I got a couple things. Um... They did not have what I was looking for, so I had to go to Home Depot. But while I was at Walmart, I picked up another little propagation stand, which I think is just adorable. And it looks like this. This was $15. Um, I don't know, I think this is good for $15 because you can put three different types of plants. The other one that I got from Target was 15 and I can only put one. It only had one little vessel. So I just thought this was so cute. I'm gonna propagate some more stuff once I get this set up. I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet though. I got that. Cause originally I went to Walmart looking for a steak for my plants because I need to like prop them up and wrap them around the steak so they stand up right. Walmart didn't have any. Like I like I went to the home and garden section they, they're getting they're getting stuff out, but they didn't have enough of it out, so they didn't have any steaks. So I went to Home Depot. I got two of these. These are might be too long, but I'll make it work. And then of course, you know I didn't leave Home Depot without getting some plants. I just got two little ones though because they didn't really like they don't really have anything out yet selection wise. So I got another one of these Pilea Pepperoma. I'll put the name because I don't know. This is what it's called, if you guys can see that, if it focuses. That's what this one is. I can't pronounce it, but I already have one of these, and um, I love it. So I wanted to get another one. And this was only $10.98. When I bought my first one from, um, what is that on the camera? When I bought my first one, like, a couple years ago, it was very little, and it was 20 bucks at, like, a local nursery. Home Depot and it was it was maybe around this size maybe a little bit smaller and it was double the price I don't know what that was about and then I got one of these so I never have had one of these this is a peperomia that's the name of that one if it decides to focus focus 
There we go. That's the name. And it looks like this. I thought that was really pretty. I don't have anything like that. So I just got two little plants. They make me happy. I want to try to propagate one of these. I've never done that before. We'll see how that goes. But that's my little my little haul. Okay, last night I showed you how my in garden looked at nighttime with the light on. There is growth. My microgreens are growing. I am about to cut some of them today because I'm going to make a salad for lunch. But I just wanted to show you guys how everything is coming along because I'm really happy with how it's growing. I realized when I was planting those last week that that was like my last little stash of seed pads. So I'm going to order some more on Amazon. I don't know which one I'm going to order yet, but... I want to order some more because that's the last one I have. Um, the plan today though is to make a salad and put the greens on top and not let them go to waste obviously. But some of my favorite things to make with the greens are salads. I like to put them on like sandwiches and my avocado toast. I don't really know what else to put it on yet. I need to do some research on like recipes but it just looks so cute. So there it is, in all its glory. So I've been working on this plant <laughs> for the past like 20 minutes. Um, it was super leggy and like just overgrown and hanging all over the place. So I, I was trying to find a way to fix it and make it like stand up and look better. I had to trim off quite a few leaves. I'm gonna try to propagate them because I would hate, um, I would hate to like, throw them away but I had to I had to do some little pruning on it because it was necessary so um, these <laughs> this is the aftermath of what I had to cut off the, you see how like I don't know what I did but you see how that was growing crazy like that like that's not normal so I'm gonna try to propagate those um, this does put them over there this does look better. It's still, I don't know, very leggy. I don't like really like how that looks. I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I can save it. I might have to just try to propagate the pieces and grow a new plant because this one is crazy overgrown. But I am going to try to do my best to save it. I had to get one of the little stakes that I told you guys about. I got the stake in there and it's standing up. So now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to save these. I can't save them. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, these are the ones that I'm gonna try to save. They were the most sturdy looking. I'm just gonna put them in here and hope for the best. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I personally love my plants. I love talking about them. I know not everybody cares about that, but if you do, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video.